Hi everybody, my name's Tony, and I'm part of the Everyday Counts program. And welcome and thank you for joining me for this chair yoga class. We're going to be strengthening uh, our awareness to balance. So today's class is all about balance, and although it is a chair class, we're going to be standing for a good majority of it using either a wall or the chair to bring our awareness to balance and strengthen our balance. So if that's something that interests you, then I'm glad you're here. So to start with, make sure that the chair you're on is comfy and you can see and hear me clearly. And from there, I'm going to invite you to slide away from the back of your chair a little, even if it's just a millimeter. That way, we're starting to already having to bring our awareness to balance, balancing on the chair. The more support we have in the chair, the less balance we have. Or the less stability we have and the more we have to balance. So, feet are a comfortable distance. And everything with balance starts with our feet, so that's where we're gonna start. So we'll take a big breath in when you're ready. Exhale it out. Another three of those. And over the course of those three breaths, feel free to soften or lower your gaze or close your eyes. You do not need to see me. After those three breaths of letting go, take your breath simply back to a comfortable, easy breath for you. Take a moment and notice how you feel today. Both your mind, your emotions, notice how your body feels. If there's anything you need to be particularly careful of today that you are feeling that there's a little tightness, a little tenderness in places you need to be especially aware of, make a note of those places. If there is tightness and tension, do your best to release and relax that. And then take your awareness all the way down to the soles of your feet, where balance begins. You can imagine or pick up those toes or even pick up the balls of the feet so you're resting on your heels and spread the toes out wide, even give them a little wiggle to start with and then fan them out. And on an exhale, release the soles of the feet and the toes all the way down to the earth. Allow the soles of your feet to be all you're aware of, the connection down to the earth. Whether you're wearing socks, shoes, slippers, it doesn't matter, but notice all the places that your feet are supported. The connection downwards, the texture. Push through your heels, just gently building up a little bit of pressure and notice how that feels. Release the pressure through the heels slowly and push through the balls of the feet. Release that pressure and push through your toes. You might even feel them scrunching all the way from the big toe all the way to the pinky toe. And then release that too. And notice how it feels to release that. Push your awareness to the outside edge of your feet, all along the outside edge of your heel, all the way down to the pinky edge of your foot and push down with pressure. On an exhale, releasing that and then push down through the inside edge of your feet, through the big toe, the big toe mound, all the way through to the inner edge of the heel. And then release. And then redistribute your weight of your leg.
legs into the soles of your feet entirely as balanced as possible, neither to the outside or inner edge, neither to the heel nor to the toes. Our awareness to our feet is essential. Even if there are places you are have little to no awareness in your feet because of one condition or another, no big deal, tune into the energy. You might notice that energy in the form of buzzing, or a humming feeling, a vibration. Mm -hmm. And then draw that awareness up through your legs, through your knees, into your hips and your pelvis, and notice your seat as it rests into the chair. If you're sitting away from the back of your chair, you have to balance here. So notice as your weight shifted to more one side of your pelvis or the other. Are you leaning forward with your shoulders or back with your shoulders? Play around with resting the shoulders more or less over your hips and notice how that feels. Take a breath in, exhale, allow your upper body to rest into the support of your chair and you may notice just how much tension was building up in the rest of your body. From the connectedness down, from the pelvis down, it's all the way to the soles of your feet and that deep connection to the chair in your upper body, from the spine upwards, lifting up through the crown of your head. Collarbones wide, shoulders soft. Steady breath. Making any last little adjustments that you need to. As you bring your, awake, your awareness into your whole body here. how it's resting on the chair, how your feet are resting on the earth. The crown of your head reaching towards the sky like somebody picked up a thread from the crown of your head, reaching it up towards the sky like a plumb line reaching down also towards the earth. Balance has a whole lot to do with our posture. So bring into your awareness how it is that you're seated here. And then notice a place that feels like the center. The center of your body, down the midline, that plumb line of the body, both backwards and forwards. So side on and front on. And a place that feels like the center to you. And it's going to be different for each and every one of us. And you're not trying to find an elusive place here. Just You can pick a place that feels like the center. And it might be by your solar plexus. It might be down by your belly. It might even be in your pelvis. Your heart space. A place that feels like the center of you. And it can shift at any time. Just rest your awareness there. You can even rest one hand over that and see, get a sense of that place of center. And that alone can shift it. So we've got the soles of our feet, our seat. We've got the crown of the head reaching up as if we were nudging up towards the ceiling and we've got this place of center. Beautiful. Now from there, keeping the hands down, resting. From here, on the inhale, as if I just hooked your heart forward, draw your heart forward, shoulder blades come back towards each other slightly. So we've got this extension through the front body, this, the spine. 
and on the exhale as if I just pushed your heart in. Imagine the heart resting towards the back of the chair so there's a concaveness to the chest. Inhaling, the heart comes forward just a little. On the exhale, we're drawing the heart back. Inhaling and exhaling, one more easy breath. Noticing the shifting and how it shifts the weight in your pelvis and where you're resting your weight. So as the heart comes forward and your center of gravity moves forward, notice where your weight is in your pelvis and your thighs. And on the exhale, as you sit back, same thing. Little shifts. No body has to do a whole lot to accommodate. Now on the inhale, imagine your whole belly comes out in front of you. Your arms can draw back towards your pelvis with this whole front body here. Wide extension. And on the exhale, push the fingertips away towards your knees or on the knees. Belly sits back into the spine and we round. Inhaling, your chin can lift. Exhaling down. And we're shifting the gravity forward and back. As we're moving through the spine, warming it up, noticing how that changes things in our awareness. If you want to add on, on the inhale, we're taking the arms out in a cactus, palms towards me, and we're drawing the elbows and shoulder blades back. That's the inhale. Exhale, palms come towards you, elbows, pinkies in towards each other. Might not ever get their belly in towards the spine, elbows towards the belly. Inhaling and exhaling. Now we're getting into the shoulders, but primarily moving through the spine. Notice that place of center, and maybe it's shifted. Steady breath. Notice where the pressure is on your feet through the movement. If it shifts, if it changes. You can even play with that. So on the inhale, imagine dragging your heels back towards the legs of the chair, although they won't move. And on the exhale, pushing the toes to um, forward, even though they won't move, can ricochet up your body. Notice how that awareness to your foundation changes the quality of the movement. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, bringing the hands back to the support, still flexion and extension through the spine. And then gradually, slowly over the next two breaths, coming back to stillness. Notice your body. Notice your weight distribution through your seat to your feet. Whether your head, heart, and hips are in one line or not. And adjusting and adapting things so it feels better for you. At any time during the practice, you can come back to this seat. Noticing your feet, your seat, your body. The breath within that. Stay for as long as you like, or for those of you who would like to, when it comes to standing, make sure you have a chair, and if you're tall, a tall chair or a countertop, or a wall close by for support. And I'll meet you standing. Here we are standing. So if you're tall, making sure that the surface you have to support you, whether it's, if it's a wall, then you've got the whole height of it, but so you're not leaning off towards one side because it's super short. We're gonna take our feet into a hip distance here. Again, holding on to support whenever you need to. Hip distance. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the floor. 
So, picking up the toes, again, assistance if you need to, wiggling those toes, spreading them wide, and then taking them all the way down to the floor. Fixing your gaze in front of you at a place that you can rest your awareness softly on. Or if you're comfortable, you're welcome to soften your gaze, lower your gaze, or even close your eyes, but make sure that you feel stable. Taking your awareness into your feet. Noticing the surface underneath you. Noticing where your weight is distributed, your heels, the balls of your feet, your toes, the inside edges or the outside edges of your feet, or one on one foot, one on the other. And see if you can readjust, making small movements to redistribute your weight and that feels more balanced for you. Imagine that you're standing in sand and you could dig down a little deeper, push down into the sand just to get a millimeter deeper. And that rebounding up through the body, the crown of the head reaching towards the sky. Whether you have support on one hand or you wanna take your hands out into mountain pose, palms towards me, Collarbones wide, shoulders back towards each other. Whether support or not, take your awareness inside. Notice how your body weight is distributed. Notice that place of center. And maybe it shifted, no big deal. and redistribute your body in a way that makes more sense for you. So if your head is really forward, consider drawing the shoulders up a little. Notice how that feels. Notice drawing the chin in. Notice widening through the collarbones. And notice how that changes how you are on your feet, if you're gripping. It's a lot to bring your awareness to. From here, whatever hand you're supporting yourself with, we'll take the other arm out to the side, inhaling up, exhaling down with your breath from the elbow. Inhaling up through the shoulder. And notice as you're moving through one part of your body how that changes things through your balance in your feet. Maybe up and over to one side. Any numbness, tingling in those fingers then keep the arm from going overhead. And notice, notice how stable you feel as you do that. And let the body naturally move with you. And then when that arm comes down, we'll rest it down. If you have that support on one side, you can shift it over to the other side, or maybe you don't need it, inhaling right arm up, exhaling down, fingertips come down. Moving from there or through the shoulder. And again, we're aware of the movement, but we're also aware of how that's shifting things in our body and ultimately shifting things in the balls of our feet and, or the soles of our feet. That arm can come up and overhead. This right here is a balancing posture. And we're just building awareness. One more. Exhaling the hand down, rolling through the 
shoulders one direction the other direction again taking any support you need to from here facing the front of the chair and again this chair is a little low for me so make sure it's comfortable for you feet are distributed evenly gaze is coming ahead and all we're going to do is shift our weight forward you're going to feel your toes gripping and on the exhale we're going to shift the weight back through the heels inhaling forward exhaling back it's not a very big movement but a whole lot is shifting in our body it's a whole lot going on to allow you to do this you might notice areas of tension maybe familiar patterns of tension that are building up especially as the weight comes forward hands to support option on the inhale to start to drift the heels up and on the exhale we're settling back the weight into the heels fixing your gaze the breath is steady we're not looking to get the highest through the heels, what we're looking for is smoothness of movement, awareness building to what's going on in your feet, what's going on in your body. You might notice certain areas are starting to tense up. See if you can allow the movement to be as gentle and as flowing as you can. If you do not need the support of both hands. The option is on the inhale to drift one arm up as the heels lift, exhaling down, fingers come down, inhaling the opposite arm up. Gaze is steady, breath is easy. Notice how this changes, notice if one side, when one arm lifts up, if it's more challenging than the other side, not with a story, but just with a curiosity. And again, we're not looking for the highest heels here, we're looking for the steadiness of the movement. And I'm not talking about it being perfect, but we're just moving towards steadiness. Option is to lift both arms up. Only if you don't need the support. Inhaling and exhaling. Three more. From here, we're taking, I'm mirroring you, so we're going to take the chair to the right side. From here, hand to the left hip. Root through the right foot. Inhaling, bending through the left knee, coming up onto the toes, exhaling down. Noticing as you're shifting your weight through the left leg, inhaling and exhaling. The toes are always down on the earth to start with. Readjust your right foot if you need to spread those toes wide. And then the option to stay here is inhaling, lifting the left foot up from the floor. Inhaling, it drifts up. Now notice as you're doing this, there's a whole lot going on in your pelvis. So what we want is as neutral a pelvis as possible. Inhaling and exhaling. So now we're really taking the weight through the right leg. Even when the left foot drifts down, there's very little weight there. Building up strength and stability 
through the right leg, through the right side of the body, but also through the pelvis itself. Option next time you bring the knee up to steady. Three breaths. Hand to support or light fingertips or even drifting it off. Steady breath, lost breath. Hand comes down, leg comes down. Beautifully done. Big breath in, exhaling it out. Okay, we're gonna put those two things together. So, right foot is still rooted down. Hand to the left hip, inhaling left heel up, exhaling down. Nice, excellent place to be. Adding on, inhaling, the left knee comes up. Doesn't have to be very high, but the weight is on the right foot. Option to stay here, pulsing. Option to lift the left knee. Hand to support, taking the weight to the front of the right foot. So we're shifting the weight forward, shifting the weight forward, and then we're shifting the weight back. So with the left leg lifted, same thing that we did before, inhaling, lifting up through the heel, exhaling, drifting down. Inhaling, lifting one leg, Exhaling down. Doesn't have to be high, but what we want is the steadiness, the smoothness of movement. You've only got two more to go. Mm -hmm. Heel comes down, left leg comes down, hands to hips, bend through the knees, hula hoop the hips. You can support yourself back in the opposite direction or not. And we're coming to the other side. So that chair comes over towards the left side. There we go. Same thing, other side. Spread the left toes, hand to the right hip, weight comes onto the left foot, inhaling, lifting the right heel, exhaling down. Noticing what's happening here. That place of center, fixing your gaze, steady breath. Option to stay here. Option as we take more weight onto the left foot, thrifting up the right foot. Hands on support. With your breath steady and smooth, Resting whenever you need to. And then the last option is to lift the knee any amount and stay, hand to support. Rooting down through the left leg, same thing as if we're in sand, rooting down to rise. Option, drift the fingertips up. Maybe holding them, maybe just touching lightly, taking more weight, more awareness into the left leg. Exhaling, hand comes down, right leg comes down. Any amount of movement that you need, go ahead to release tension. Coming to any of the previous modifications, and we're gonna put those two together like we did on the other side. So, rooting down through the left leg. Inhaling, lifting up through the right heel, exhaling, taking it down. Steady breath, steady gaze. You can come up onto the toes or lifting up through the whole foot off the floor. Hands are supported. Fix your gaze, inhaling, we're shifting the weight forward. You can feel your toes gripping on the left side. Exhaling, taking the weight back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. This is a great place to stay. It's a whole lot of building up of strength. If you want to add on, as you come forward, the heel lifts, exhaling, taking it down. Inhaling, 
and exhaling. What we want is not the height, we want the stability in the movement, the stableness. You got three more left. We're building awareness through the foot, but we're stabilizing through the, not only the ankle, there's a whole lot of work going on in the ankle here. I've lost count, so let's do one more. Exhaling, the heel comes down. Right foot comes down. Hula hooping the hips back in the opposite direction. Anything that feels good. Not only stabilizing through the ankle, but we're also stabilizing through the knee and the hip, the pelvis. The whole body has to work for this to happen. Okay, so from here, turning towards the chair. So now we've lifted up through the heels. We've done some heel lifts. Coming onto the chair, we're going to start to drift the um, weight back into the heels, picking up through. Well, actually, let's start with just taking the weight through the heels. Your toes can start to drift up through the air. And then maybe drifting through the balls of the foot. Hands are supported. Weight's coming forward, don't worry about what's going on in the upper body, but we're drifting through the heels. So we're getting some lifting through the front of the toes here, just like we did with the heels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now the option is to stay here or turning towards the front, we're gonna do it with one leg. So, from here, lifting up through the ball of the left foot and taking the seat back. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. Just rocking the hips back, lifting up through the left toes. Rolling through the length of the heel. So if you're noticing that you're going more to one side or the other, drifting through the center of the heel. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do that to the other side. You can just turn around. I'm just staying here so I can see you. From here, right toes coming up as we drift towards the heel, taking the seat back somewhat. Mm -hmm. Now most of walking, 60% of walking, is actually one leg strength. So we only have two feet on the floor for about 40% of our walking stride. So we need all of this. But before we get to walking, I want to get through the hip a little here. So, using the support of the chair next to you, rooting down through that right leg. Inhaling, left leg up and out to the side. That's the exhale, inhaling up and to center using as much support you, as you need to, getting that whole hip rotation through that left side. Now the option here is to take that knee up a little higher, keeping the spine as neutral as possible. We've got a little momentum going here, so it's a little easier than when we were lifting up through the heels. Only to the extent that it feels good for you. We've got one more to go. And bringing the chair to the other side. We're just turning around. We're going to do this other side. So hand to the support. Inhaling out. Inhaling up and forward. So again, any support that you need for this to happen. Just getting that rotation through the hip. Another 
two. And then next time we bring the leg in, we're staying there. Any movement you need to soften any tension, go ahead. Then I'm gonna move the chair off towards the side. And from here, I'm gonna have the wall beside me. If you have a countertop, anything it is that you need. Feet are around about a comfortable distance and we're taking some walking here. So, noticing your feet on the floor, lifting up from there. And then we're gonna take three steps forward. One, two, three. And then we're gonna go backwards. So making sure that you feel stable and if you need somebody to accompany you to do that, then go ahead. One, two, three. Bend through the knees and roll through the feet. So we're taking more of a mindful step. And then we're gonna do exactly the same thing as we're coming backwards. Forward and back. Again, making sure you feel stable. And of course, as we're going backwards, you can't actually see. So making sure that you have the stability you need As we are going forward most of the time, going backwards builds up different strength through different muscles. Inhaling and exhaling with that ease of movement as much as you can. So we've got the swing of the hips, we've got the distribution of weight through the feet, we've got the steady gaze, steady breath. And coming back to center. Nicely done. Now we are, if you've got only support on one side, we're going to turn around and do it the other way. So coming back, three steps. One, two, three. And back we go. And one side may be very different from another side. You can take hand to hip if you're not supported with somebody else. Slowing movement down without momentum involved means that we're having to stabilize way more through the muscles. We've got more awareness to the support underneath us. And we have to take generally way more time and awareness to everything that's happening. This is the last time we're coming back. Beautifully done. Coming back to stillness, support as you need to. <sighs> mm -hmm. And from here, taking support as you need to, coming into mountain pose. So feet a comfortable distance for you, hands to your hips. From here, we're going to take, and I'm mirroring you, we're going to take the right foot out in front of you. So, already here, taking that support on the right side if you need to. This weight distribution is already quite a challenge. You've got one foot forward, one foot back. From here, the support that you need to. Option to take that right foot and heel toe it towards the left side, maybe even in line with the left foot. Again, any support that you need to, take it. Because we're narrowing the stance, this already is very challenging. Notice the awareness of the soles of your feet where you have your 
um, pressure and even that up and notice how that feels. Like root down just like you were standing in sand. Option to stay here and I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. Drawing the front heel back so it's in line or towards the back toes and depending on whether the right foot is off towards the side or in front it may or may not um, your heel may or may not touch the left foot. Any support that you need to, go ahead. Steady breath, fixing your gaze. And already here, because we've now narrowed, and a little, um, narrowed the length of the stance too, this is challenging. From here, notice your breath. Pick a place where you can rest your eyes and then come back to that place inside. Notice the distribution and weight on your feet. From here, we inhale the weight forward to the right foot. Maybe that left heel drifts up, maybe it doesn't. Exhale, we drift the weight back into the left foot. Maybe the right toes lift, ball of the foot, maybe it doesn't. So we're inhaling forward, exhaling back. Notice if you need the support, if you can get light fingertips, or even if you can bring your hands to your hips. Stay at a place where you feel stable. Then you come forward now. So from here, we're changing up the weight distribution. The option from here is to play with lifting the entire feet up. Inhaling and exhaling. Building strength. And if you're feeling those tiny muscles around your ankles and calves, those are your stabilizer muscles. Those are what we are trying to engage. Although there's a whole lot more going on in your body. Option if you do not need the support to take the arms out. First finger and thumbs can come towards each other. You can use one hand to do this. That's the mudra of focus. The higher up we bring our hands, the higher up the center of gravity is. So we're challenging ourselves. Option to bring the arms closer towards each other, more overhead. You get to choose. Inhaling and exhaling. First of all, we need the stability. Then we challenge the stability with movement and with shaking things up a little bit, changing up the center of gravity. Now the last option is on that point of focus, you can start to soften your gaze so much that it's almost like you're looking through your eyelashes. You've got less focus, and that's gonna change things. Making sure that you feel the stability and that you have the help that you need. Not putting yourself in any danger. You've got one last breath. The eyes are soft. Float them open fully. Feet come back, fully support both feet. And that right foot is coming out towards the side. Notice your breath, notice your body coming to the other side. Support, a wall, a chair, a countertop, anything you need. And then we slide that left foot forward. We've lengthened the stance. This is already challenging from where we were. Option to stay here. Any bus stop along the way you can stop at. Option to drift that left foot closer, more in line with the right. Doesn't have to be, we're not looking for perfect, we're looking for places that feel comfortable for you at the moment as we're building strength. Option to drift that left heel back towards the right foot. And again, We've narrowed our base, our foundation, so it's going to get more challenging. Support if you need it. 
From here, inhaling, the weight comes forward into the left foot. Exhaling, we're drifting the weight back into the right foot. Just shifting the weight forward and back. You can pick up the back heel. You can pick up the front toes, maybe the ball of the foot, maybe the entire foot together. Again, taking the support that you need to. Hands can be on that support or to your hips. Notice everything that is happening. Steady the breath. Steady the gaze. It's all part of balance. Inhaling and exhaling. Notice the parts that are challenging to you. Notice the places that you feel more steady, more stable. Option to take the arms, adding on to the challenge. As we lift the arms up, the center of gravity changes. Stay within your comfort zone as you build up your stability, whatever that looks like for you. And the last option, of course, is to soften the gaze. Maybe even drift the eyelids a little softer so you're looking through your eyelid, eyelashes so the gaze is softer. So you have to trust your body more, but only to the place that feels comfortable for you. Always take the support and the stability you need above all else to feel safe. Another two. And then when you're ready, eyes float fully open, hands back to support all your hips, coming back to stability, and the left foot comes out towards the side. Bend through the knees, hula hoop through the hips, and back in the opposite direction. From here, you're gonna drift over towards one side of your mat, and you're gonna come over towards the right here. As we take um, side steps to the side. So, countertop in front of you, any support that you need, and then we're bending through the knees somewhat. Not very deep. From here, left foot comes out to the left, and we redistribute our weight to the left. Inhaling back to the right, coming from side to side. Weight distribution. Everything changes when the weight changes from side to side. Option to stay here. Support in front of you. If you want to add on, as we come over to the left, right foot comes in, left foot comes out. Right foot comes in, left foot comes out. Keep the right foot there. So we've got a couple of crab walks over to the side. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Not only do we need to go forward and back, but when we're at a counter and we're reaching for this, we need the weight distribution to go from side to side too. This is the last one. Mountain pose, notice how you feel. From here, I'm gonna bring the chair back. As a lot of the time when people feel unstable is when they're reaching for something. So we've got that support on the right side. Feet are at a comfortable distance here. From here, taking the left hand 
as if you're reaching for something down on the floor on the left side, coming into a squat, but the heart's coming forward, inhaling up. Exhaling, inhaling up. Mm -hmm. Using that support, great place to be right here. If you want to, using that support, coming more forward. As if you could pick something up from the floor. Now as you're doing this, notice what's happening in your body, where your weight is distributed. The more you send your hips back, the evenly your weight is distributed. So if you're leaning very forward, consider drawing your hips back more and noticing how that feels as you're reaching. Option to not have that support if you don't need it and notice what that feels like. Again, shifting your hips back more to counteract the weight of your upper body. One more. Coming all the way up. Hands to the hips, big breath in. Exhaling it out. You can turn around. I'm going to take the um, chair over to the other side. Feet at a comfortable distance. Same thing, other side. This is the inhale with that support, bending through the knees, noticing how that feels. Noticing if you need to take your hips back a little further to counteract the weight as you're reaching. Even if it's not down on the floor, imagine reaching something from the top of a chair or from a table, from the side table next to your bedroom, uh, next to your bed. And again, Notice what feels best for you with the weight distribution of your feet. If bringing the hips back a little further helps. Option not to need the support. Inhaling and exhaling. One more. Coming up. Any support you need, big breath in. Exhaling it out. Taking as many breaths as you need. And then we're going to use the chair to come into um, standing and seated. From here. This is so important. Coming up from the side of your bed, from being seated when you're eating or um, doing anything during your day, getting up from there. So our heels come back a little bit, so our knees are in front of, um, are slightly in front of our ankles. Once again, we redistribute the weight through our feet with our awareness hands to the chair, to your thighs, or even to a chair in front of you, the back of a chair in front of you. On an inhale, we're just, and I'm going to turn around so you can see me. Coming forward, hands are supporting you, exhaling, or inhaling up, exhaling, supporting you. And again, you can have that chair in front of you. Next, inhale, pushing into your feet and starting to lean more forward. Adding on, lifting up through the seat, exhaling, coming back, making sure you are as far back in your chair as you need to, to be supported. Inhaling, exhaling, hands on, 
the chair in front of you. And the next inhale is up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Option to come all the way to standing. Take every other one, anything you need to. And the next time you come down, we stay. Sliding back into the chair, using the support behind you, and resting. From here, taking a breath in, exhaling it out slow and steady. Taking as many breaths as you need to, to release down. Allow your eyes or gaze to soften or close. Take your awareness down into your body to the soles of your feet. Notice the support. Notice the support of your seat on the chair, the back of the chair. Notice that place of center. Imagine a softening coming from that center that radiates outwards, relaxing and releasing your body as it goes towards the tips of your fingers and toes. Soften the thoughts. Knowing that through all of these practices, you can build up strength and more stability in your body. To find the stability, we build the strength. And from the strength, we can then add shift, movement. You've got a whole lot of tools available in your tool bag for more stability. You have the awareness of your weight distribution. You have the soles of your feet. You've got your breath steady. You've got the gaze easy. And the awareness from that. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.